Hello everyone, welcome back to Elite Cloud. In this video, we're going to learn how to create an AMI from an EC2 instance, and then create a new instance from that AMI. So, for that, log into your AWS console, navigate to Instances from the EC2 dashboard, and select the instance. Then go to Actions, choose Image and Templates, and click on Create Image. Here, you have to enter a name. If you'd like, keep everything default. You can add a new tag for identifying the resources, but to keep it simple, we're going to leave it as it is and click Create Image. This will start creating the image. You can see the image here, the AMI name and its status. Now, this process creates a snapshot of the instance, then converts that snapshot into an AMI. This will take some time to become available, so you have to wait. Okay, so now you can see the status is showing available, which means the AMI creation is successful. If you check the snapshots, you'll see that it has created a snapshot of the instance volume, from which it generated an AMI. You can also look at the description, which shows the image was created by create image for this instance and AMI. Now, if you want, you can transfer this AMI to a different AWS region and restore the instance there. However, for simplicity, we're going to restore the image in our current region. To do that, select the AMI and then click launch instance from AMI. This process is the same as your typical EC2 instance launch wizard. Enter the name of the instance. and select the key pair. Choose the same network and modify other settings or the instance type if needed. Once you're done, click launch instance and this will create a new instance from the AMI. So, how do we confirm the instance has been restored? We can check the web server this is the new instance we created from the AMI. If I remove the S from HTTPS to make it HTTP, you can see the website is working. Now, if we check the original website and remove the S there too, since we haven't set up SSL for the website, you'll notice both websites are identical. This is because we created the second instance from the AMI of the first instance. That's why everything is exactly the same. Creating an AMI is helpful, in various scenarios. You can upgrade your instance capacity, transfer it to a different region, or use it as a backup, and more. Once you're done testing, or if this is just for learning purposes, as it was in this case, you can remove the restored instance by terminating it. To do this, select the instance and click Terminate. So, the instance is now shutting down, and soon will be terminated. Next, you can go to the AMI, and remove it by, deregistering it. If you don't do this, it will continue to incur costs. Click on Actions, then click Deregister AMI to remove it. Remember, snapshots are not automatically deleted, when you deregister an AMI. After deregistering, go to the snapshots, select the relevant one, and delete it. You can also create a new AMI from the snapshot, but we'll cover that in a different video. For now, we're going to delete the snapshot. Click on Actions, then click Delete Snapshot, and confirm by typing Delete, and it will be removed. Now, there's nothing left in the AMIs or snapshots. The EC2 instance we restored has also been terminated. Currently, we have only one running instance, which is our main instance. So, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you for being with Elite Cloud.